guys, back with the vlog. Today I decided to do a men's haircut, so I went on Instagram and I typed in what are the most popular men's hairstyles right now. Same thing kept coming up, which was the David Beckham haircut. So we went through, I did my interpretation of that. This is the end result. You can see nice clean back. We did clipper guards, we did clipper over comb, we did scissor over comb. A lot of different techniques involved in this haircut, so I hope you guys like it. Let's get started with our step-by-step -step and let me know. Thanks. All right guys, so we're gonna start off by using our YS Park 209 comb. This is a, a fatter comb that I love for scissor over comb and clipper over comb. So uh, I've got my Andis Supra ZR clipper and this is a cordless clipper that I've been using quite a bit. Really love the power of it. So anytime I'm going through wet hair or also uh, doing clipper over comb, this is pretty much my go-to for that. I have the one, uh, the level one blade on the clipper. Uh, so I just go through and I take out the bulk. That's really the goal of that. Now I'm going through and just blow drying the hair, working the hair back and forth. I really just want to work out any kinks or um, any weird ways that the hair is laying. And then I go through with my number three guard using my Andis Master Clipper and just uh, working through. Now watch the elevation of the clipper. I'm not a big person. I don't like to fly through a clipper cut. You'll notice that the clipper is moving a little bit faster. The reason for that is I've got this sped up uh, to go a little bit faster. But really, I'm just gliding through and lifting up as I go. I'm building a graduation with the clipper um, towards the end. So as the head starts to round, I'm starting to pull away and just building up that kind of graduated edge uh, right below the parietal ridge. So just working the clipper through, and my analogy for this has always been if you, if you mow your yard, if you're somebody that mows their yard, and you try to do it really, really fast, you miss a lot of the grass along the way, so your yard doesn't look as consistent. This is the same thing. It, you're going through there, the blades are only going to cut at so fast so and that depends really on which clipper you're using so as I'm going through I like to go nice and slow go over the section a couple times and just work that clipper so that it cuts every single hair the same length uh, and we don't have any of those rough edges the whole purpose of doing a clipper cut is to get every hair cut at the same length so just uh, just work on your pace with that and stay consistent now I'm going to my one guard. So I went from my three guard down to my one, but this is my one fully open. So I got the blade the longest. Uh, so you'll see how I move the lever. Uh, that What I'm doing is I'm just starting, I'm working the edge of the haircut. And then I've got my three towards the top that I'm going to go through and blend that line. Um, this is the way I like to do it. This isn't the way that everyone should do it. It's just uh, it's the way that works best for me. So notice the only other thing I want you to really kind of focus on is how I angle the clipper when I go around the ear. Uh, just kind of beveling that edge out a little bit just so that I'm not cutting too much into the graduation that I'm creating. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to blend the line using scissor over comb. Still using that 209 comb um, to work my scissor over comb and the, the blacksmith fit six and a half inch scissor is pretty much my go-to scissor for scissor over comb and pretty much all my men's cuts. I, I stick basically with this scissor um, and sometimes I go to my DB20 as well. So this is the blacksmith fit scissor working that line in um, just really deciding where I want that weight line to sit uh, and blending the spot from pretty much the one and a half guard that I used to the three guard um, the line that I created there. So just working my way up, this is the crown. Notice the uh, diagonal back angle of the comb. This is to keep that weight line shifting back that direction. Um, so it's really everything has a purpose, guys. You're not going through. I, I want to create uh, the shadow of the head shape. So as I'm going through, that's what I'm doing. So I'm angling that comb back to keep that shadow uh, working its way back uh, the same. So we're flying up the sides and just blending a little bit more and working that weight line in the haircut. So notice that my thumb is the only thing moving. My ring finger is keeping the blade steady and my thumb is going through and doing all of the work. 
Now I'm going to go through with my trimmer. Uh, this is also an Andis product. Andis is not supporting this video. I just happen to like a lot of their products and they did send us that Andis Supra ZR clipper as well. So, uh, so thank you for that Andis. But yeah, just going through a little trimmer over comb. I like to use multiple techniques. So uh, I've talked about this before. The, the trimmers, the clippers, that's all mechanical, so you're going to get a more solid cut. With the scissor, it's going to be a little bit more of a jagged cut. So it depends on what type of look you're looking for. So in between, I like to blend uh, my line with the scissor, but for the most part, I'm going through mechanically and cutting around the edge of the haircut. So now we're working through the top. This is really the key point of the haircut. You guys could go all clippers on the bottom if you want to or whatever. Now on the top, this is... Uh, there's a pretty cool strategy in this. So I'm starting, I'm working my line all the way down the center of the head. The whole purpose of this is we're cutting a disconnection on the top. And what I want to do is over direct every section that I'm, I'm working horizontally, over directing every section over the center of the head um, and keeping a stationary guide. The reason I'm doing that is because it'll push that extra weight towards the side. The difference between this cut and a lot of other cuts like a faux hawk or whatever is that I am uh, keeping that disconnection I'm not connecting around the parietal ridge so everything comes to the center pushes extra weight off to the sides which allows this haircut the guy can flip it one way or the other uh, so it gives a lot of versatility to the haircut so we work that line all the way into the back which gives me a long disconnection in the back you can choose to keep it some guys do um, I like to cut it off so we're gonna blend it working diagonal back Diagonal back is, is cutting more in a round section. So we're following the round of the head, so it's gonna lay nice and soft. So we'll work all the way through diagonal back one way, and then we're gonna go through diagonal back in the opposite direction um, right about now. So we're gonna work back through, uh, creating a crisscross in the back and rounding off the back, really blending in the crown of the head. And that's pretty much it. I'd like to leave the rest disconnected, so I'm not gonna connect those two points, but I don't like to have that long kind of flop off of the back. Uh, so now we're gonna go through and blow it dry using the Ergo paddle brush just to give a little tension, uh, and then go through the front, give it a little bit of lift. Men's styling nowadays is is a lot has a lot to do with the blow dryer and the brush. So just going through, getting that volume so that the hair is gonna last all day long. So now, I'm not blending the back, but I'm going through and point cutting just to lighten it up. Sometimes when you blow dry, you notice a little bit of extra weight. So I go through and fix that up. Now I'm using the blue Rusal. This is a, a firm hold, but it's still it's a firm hold pomade, but uh, it gives it kind of a wetter look. You could use a matte look as well if you wanted to, but we'll just finish it up with that. And then I use my 332 YS Park comb just to work through. It's got wide teeth uh, and just to give a little bit more uh, of a put together look here. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below. Here's your finished look. All right guys, so if you like this haircut, then hit the like button on YouTube. Make sure you share this video with all of your friends. I really appreciate all of the support. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.